Would you rather be on that side? Hi, everybody. Hello, little sweet today. Hello, Camille, Karen, Joseph. Welcome, everybody. We're so excited to see you all. Hello, Byron. Hello, thank you, thank you. Jim, Mary Jean, hello, nice hello. to see you. Heather, June, hello. Sally. Hello. Oh, hello. I'm so exhausted. I'm also exhausted. That's why that's uh, where the laugh comes from. When I'm exhausted, <laughs> I laugh. That's my Hi Lynn. Hello, so we, we actually just finished filming our Christmas Eve episode. So you yes. guys were <laughs> We're getting it ready for you. We're doing our own Christmas preparations. Yes. Hi, Jeremy. Hello, Hello. Maria, Deb, Kansas City. So, Han, who's going first today? Do I go? Since I'm continuing last week's. Yes, please. Okay. So, guys, if, um, if you didn't watch last week's maybe you'll want to go back to last tuesday's not last friday's just this past tuesday's um lunch break and i started this project oh, i completed it oh, here yeah. is the completed uh kind of prototype so on tuesday i showed you guys the beginnings of that project and so we're going to finish it off today and so a little camera yeah. dance. Just want to say hello to everyone. Kim, I'm so sorry. I hope you recover really quickly. Someone's not feeling well? COVID. Oh, gosh. Sorry, yes. Hope you, you, you get back on your feet soon. Yes. So um, last, last Tuesday, Han worked with um, wafer paper, rice paper. And so today I'm adding it as a detail to the house. I actually saw a gingerbread house that I thought was quite pretty. It had royal icing transfer, kind of like little scallops. You know, you can kind of peel that off and position it on the house. But well, it, look at you show off. Are you showing us all your fancy? Yes. So they sell, Han had a snowflake, but they sell edgers. And yes. so these are different kind of versions. And so on the house that the prototype house here, let's bring it in to the camera here. So here is the prototype house, and that is this one here. It's this. so cute, but you know what it reminds me of? Oh my gosh, you know what's it called? The, the for the piano? Ting 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 ting. Oh yeah, does it? What's it called? I don't know. A timer? I know it. It's like it's ding, something ding. fine. Yes. Well, guys, please tell us. Tell us. Um, it's amazing. I love it. It's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so there it is. So I'm going to use this one because this one's kind of pretty. So all you do is you just press it up against. They're made for to align, you know, like so ideally you're doing this before your project. And ideally, once you've got them cut, you put them in an airtight container because this does get um, like drier and, and then it's more susceptible to cracking. So once you've got the first cut and you can see, look at how pretty that is. Perfect little house piece. So it's a little tricky for me here. I can't see. But you're aligning the next one, you see? So you can kind of, and then make sure that it's pressed to the back and then you do it again. And then you just slide it over. And so this is a little bit, oh, you see, I missed one. You can kind of see there's one a notch. So I'm going to go kind of put it back in there. And hopefully it'll not mess it up. What does it look like? Oh, that's good. Yeah, I just want to show you something, Mar. Okay, so this is it. Metronome. Oh, yes. Oh. I, 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 I'm not I mean, yours is obviously now, fancier I, and, and just like, you know. Well, you know what? I was looking at gingerbread house projects because, you know, they're fun, but not everybody has the stomach for something super and the A-frame house is kind of like an easier kind of um, project. Yes, you know? I, like, I love it. Oh, look at this edge. Wow. So isn't that pretty? And so, again, these are pricey, but if you go with the coupon, it's not too bad. And so you want to cut, leave yourself 
like the width of the cookie, let's say, and I'm just trimming and you can just cut with regular scissors, you know? You could also use actually um, craft scissors with um, yes, like profile edge, you know, like different those profiles. Those, 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 you could also use those to get some, some you know, more decorative border. And it's like. cheaper. You can get it's those cheaper, scissors yes. for really not these expensive. Are, these are really nice. I mean... So I'm going to do two, two, I'm going to use like two on the house. So I'm just going to run through another one. I didn't think to make this in advance. Really everybody, how long? Metro, yeah, it's called metronome. Everybody knows but us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed it again. So you want to, um, I guess not, I'm trying to go too fast and. Yes. Now, Maria um, has a question. Is there an easy way to search past videos? They don't seem to be in chronological chronological order. Um, well, I don't know how it is on Facebook, but they are in live tab. Unfortunately, we don't really. Uh, do we have? Uh, a, well, we on any? YouTube, they are saved in chronicle, chronicle. On YouTube, they are. I guess on Facebook, and I don't think we have control over how Facebook saves that. Facebook does based on uh, kind of like views. Views. So they do their own thing. So I, I don't know if we can, yeah, I don't think we can actually control that. But I mean, YouTube, Facebook. you know. So on YouTube it is, right? On YouTube it is. There is also on YouTube when you go into our channel, there, there should be a tab videos and live videos and all the live videos are there and those should be in Carolina. And I've been trying to be good about changing the thumbnail so that you guys can see. Oh, yes. What the project is. What the project is. We, we, we will hopefully maybe add the title of the project. That would probably help. But then you will use the, with a date, I guess. You know, you could also just send us a little message and maybe we can help you. You know, yes. you have... I have my senior memory moments, but I do sometimes. Oh yeah, so Angie says that you can sort the page and click the most recent and it will uh, pull up the, it will populate the, the, the most recent videos. So I just threw away all the um, remnants, you know? Yes. I'm just gonna move these out of the way just cause they're fragile and I don't want to mess them up, but I'll get them again after. All right, so here is that cookie that I metronome. did last metronome. metronome. <laughs> so this is a Glad Press and Seal. This is not Saran Wrap. It's a slightly different product, and it's got like more crunch to it. You hear? Yes. Do, do you like this product? Well, I like it, but it's I'm not using it to seal a bag, a container. Oh, mm -hmm. I see. So this is my icing, and I darkened it up because you can see here it's just a little bit darker than that uh, mm -hmm. base and then i've got the lid here and i'm just tapping on the lid to kind of like reduce how much i have and i'm going to be dabbing to kind of give like a like a stucco effect to my little mm -hmm. hat here and so that's all i'm just i love this kind of decorating and so you can just quick no, run true. through them. Your surface has to be dry because I'm hammering on there, right? Like it's it's a bit it's a bit hard, so you don't want to um, do this on a freshly iced cookie. Mm -hmm. Yes, but you see, it gives it a nice little kind of it's different texture. Yeah, and this dries very quickly. So once and you that is super easy. What do you think, Sally? Yes, it's easy, easy. I did not watch any live last night, Joseph. No. No, they were on? on the radio actually about the Baldwin interview on my radio station. That's what they were talking about. I can't believe he already did an interview about it. Anyway. Aww. And so here I ha I coincidentally. Thank you. That's awesome. Great. That's like, that's, that's all that's great. Great. Yes. Why you guys to, to, to go for it. It's like, it's just a fun, relaxing activity. So I happen to have the little door that goes with that little gingerbread house I did the other day. And I'm using my scribe and I'm etching into the, the icing. And can I see? I'm just going to bring it close to me because I can't see it over there. And I'm just scratching 
Hello, everyone, for joining us. Karen, Julie, we still have a few people yes. joining us now. Okay, oh, so you, I can see, I can definitely see that. Yeah. And then if you, you know, I have this ruler that I really like. You see it has shapes and stuff. You can pick this up. This is for um, drafting. Mm -hmm. And it just comes in handy for, you know, look, you can do eyes. You can do, and it just, I, I always have it here in my kitchen. And I'm just etching here a line this way. So this is a good tool to have because the, the scribe you use, it's a very sturdy scribe. It's yes. Not, this is a very sturdy scribe. It has a very strong needle, so it's great. Well, this is for clay work, so it's it's um it's not a cookie like thing. It's it's made kind of more like commercial, I guess. So the other thing I'm using today is I'm using a 44 piping tip. It's not a popular one, but it is basically a basket. 44. Weaver. Oh, I have that also. 44. It's a it's the ribbon, right? It's it's a it's basically the basket weave, but with no um, teeth. teeth, with no teeth. So yeah, so this is the basket weave. Oh no, here here is my forty four. I like it very much. The forty. Yeah, I, me too. I like it. Forty four, but this is a cake boss. Oh, I, I I but I guess they have the same number. That's great. It's all practice. It's all practice. Oh, Amber's uh, working on a project, and so um, she'll be back on the 17th this month. She'll be joining me. Han won't be there, but she'll be back after in 2022. We'll be back to a more normal schedule. Okay. So, so Diana, uh, Marlon is finishing a project from last week. Those of you who are joining us, you can rewatch what she was working on last week, and she's finishing up with this really cute... Yeah, I was talking about that last week, the cutters I used and all the beginnings of this project. All right. So now I want to add a, like a molding around this door. And so I found that it's easier to kind of rotate the, the, the cookie because this is a ribbon and I, I want my ribbon to be the same kind of thickness. So you don't want to stretch the ribbon. You want to try to keep it. So don't pull away consistent pressure. You're letting it fall. I'm turning the cookie. Now this is not for the faint of heart. And now I see it's gonna, I'm gonna see if it's gonna cooperate. So I'm rotating, 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 and then I can let it rest. And I'm just tapping it to get yeah, that. Right. Level. That's great. So there's my ribbon around the door, the molding. Now for the center, I'm going to go this way. So I want to have these kind of like lines coming up on in the middle of each. And so you don't want to pull away when it's ending because you'll stretch it and it'll become like tapered. So I just stop like that. Okay. Then I'm getting my boo-boo stick and I cut it just to clean it on each, like mm -hmm. clean it up on each edge. And then here I'm actually trimming I'm kind of creating the shape so that my piping tip can go down the center and I'm it's going to lay flat. Yeah, it does look like yes, it does. Oh, sorry. A little bit. Yeah, I can see I can see that. So now you see I've got a gap there, so I'll be able to come in and add my center board. And again, don't pull, just just press on the cookie to cut it so that you get a consistent width. And now I'm going this way. Belinda saw you on the Food Network holiday cookie baking challenge and was, your garland was beautiful. Thank you. That was on on the second. It was the only time I think it's airing this year. So there you see. So that's how you get them perfect. So you don't want to pull. When you pull, like it, it becomes stretched and it shrinks. So it's like elastic -y. So once you've got that on, we're gonna add the door. I like to use a sprinkle or a, a pearl for the door knob. You can obviously do it in icing, but I just find it's easier to add it in, uh, in a pearl and you get the metallic quickly. I'm connecting to the perimeter. And I'm just letting in like because I have that edge, I don't have to kind of worry too much about the shape. And you want to add that 
sprinkle doorknob while the icing is wet because if you try to stick it on after it will stick but it's more prone to getting knocked off when it's embedded in wet icing it just kind of sinks in there and looks more more right okay and so that's the beginnings of that so you can just shake it if ever you're icing your, you know beginners the issue is consistency getting your icing to self level to heal well if you if that's not cooperating you can just shake it and generally that'll help it to get that's like kind of smooth. those of you who don't know the tool that mar used to trim the excess it's called boo boo stick that's it perfectly so two, named. two in one tool perfectly named all right so now i'm using yes, that said, you will be sure to say a little prayer for your stepdad so for the roof last oh here let me see my videos i pre-recorded so here now we painted the boards last week and now i'm just airbrushing that to cut your own stencil is in my um coffee okay. shop okay but it's a preview it's a set of five of like stones and i think brick and stuff it's not from like it's not a recent listing so i have here just for you guys to see so these are airbrushed and this is chocolate cookie with those silicone mats that i showed so just so you can see kind of the difference so when you put it on the on the roof there well which one do you like better i mean if you're only making one batch of dough obviously it's like less work i do like the chocolate one it's kind of like you know Very it nice. pops i mean yes. it's it's you know what do you guys think it's um yes it's 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 a more manageable like beginner project and and you can make little ones and offer them if, if you have a lot of kids maybe in the family and stuff all right so now the width of the of the roof if i was to attach this roof because there's no back right i had said it was one face look at how much it sticks out it doesn't look right so i'm actually like laying it on this cookie cutter so that when i come in and attach the roof well, the roof isn't so much in the front of the, you can cut your cookies more narrow, but I find that it looks a bit wonky. It looks a little bit weird. Hey, Olga, we haven't seen you in a bit. Yes. Hello. Hello. Everybody's loving chocolate. The chocolate one. I'm going to go with this one just because I've got it sized. Those chocolate cookies I'm showing them, but they're from Halloween. And so they're not sized correctly. But I was just showing them for you guys to. Well, it's a, yeah, it's an option. This is great. I so, like it's the same, so this is dry, okay? So I don't recommend that you start handling a freshly iced cookie there. Just so you guys know that's. So now I'm using that same belt uh, piping bag. And it's just, look, it's the perfect thickness to come in and add my spackle, my cement to my uh, house here, okay? There, so the icing, oh, it, it like literally fell off. So let's do that again. It, it like, did you see it or it was off camera? Oh, Olga, good luck. Olga is starting a home bakery business. Oh, exciting. Well, I hope everything goes well. All right, so now I've got my icing and I've got it on the cookie cutter. And I'm actually gonna add just a bit of the icing that 45 degree angle that, that i did which we discussed last uh, tuesday and now i'm just pressing that into the house and because we've got that cookie cutter in the back and it's essentially on its side i don't have to worry about it tipping and it's all gonna hold perfectly and then for the base you can secure your base with this like that or if you want I've got this here I've got this little kind of cookie that's a tombstone actually well I and see that it would go like this you see and you'd have a little path and then you could add oh, the that snow. Is cute to have it set up like that here where's my so this is it's just dots that I added 
and it's like you see i did add guidelines just for the width of the door so that it was like the right correct width oh this is uh, sped up it won't be long and then i'll show you it's all together to show you like how i finished it off so then that's it. You're just kind of healing it. And another thing I've done in the past is when it crusts, you can kind of break it with a, um, like a little ball tool to crack it, to give it a different, if you want your stones to not be super, um, rounded, you want them to be a little bit more kind of rustic looking. I didn't realize this was so long, but it's almost done. <laughs> And that's it, just a little airbrushing. And then the joints is just a super runny royal icing. So you want the icing to be very, very runny. We've talked about when it's super runny, how it shellacs. It basically varnishes the surface. It has no more body left. And that's what we want in this particular circumstance. Um, there's no actual um, physical products there. There on the coffee, it's only digital files. So it's to cut your own stencil. It's not to um, purchase a stencil. All right, so here is, for the sake of this one, I'm going to decorate the front of one that's already kind of dry. So here it is. So what other videos did I prepare for you guys? So that, that, oh, the little trees. So I don't know if I'm going to use them, but I'm just going to show you. So there's my icing nail, a little bit of icing, a piece of parchment paper, and I'm securing a gumdrop. And I'm making a little Christmas tree, a little dimensional Christmas tree, star piping tip. I think it's a 16. So just like the belt or the boards, you don't want to stretch your icing. You want to do consistent pressure and do not extend the icing so that your line maintains its same chubbiness all the way around. And then I'm just giving it a little sprinkling immediately because it's really not long that the sprinkles don't stick to stiff icing. And there's my little Christmas tree, the perfect size for my, um, my little- You should uh, add it, I think it's adorable to add it. It will kind of be looking nice with the green and red. So now my, I'm just adding a bit of corn syrup to the front here just to get my little wafer oh, no. paper to stick. I'm just putting a little line of it right on the edge of the of the house. So if you're, be careful when you've got the wafer paper on, how you handle the little house because um, it is fragile. Come to think of it, I just remembered what I had anticipated doing. I'm gonna wait before doing that. I'm gonna add my little details. Let me bring Oh, this. Sally's asking she missed it. What was in the center of the tree? A gumdrop. So I'm just adding, I thought it was different. I'm adding a wiggly line around the, um, the door, just like this. And it's supposed to be like a, a set of Christmas lights. I'm just going around like that. And then I'm adding a little dot, which I'm adding a little Nalpare sprinkle to. And then here I'm adding just a dot and pulling in a little cluster of three. And then a dot here, another one on this side. And then I've got these micro hearts that... <laughs> you can't find them? Well, I had pulled them out. Are they for Valentine's Day? They, they are little hearts for Valentine's Day, but I guess I'll just add a little red pearl. Anyway, you can add whatever you have, and then you can... Oh, I see. In the middle there. Yeah. And then I did little swirls. So you can really add whatever you want. Um, now that I'm doing it, it is probably better to do this before you add the wafer paper, just so that you can access mm -hmm. unobstructed yeah. here, you know, to the thing. 
there. And the other thing that I didn't uh, do, I did on the other one, is you can see there, that's a pretty big gap. I did add a little bead border in that gap to kind of hide it. So oh, behind the wafer paper? Right, yeah, right here. Oh, I see. Oh, I, I see. Mm -hmm. Fill this little kind of, I thought it wasn't pretty there. Oh, yeah, it really finishes it up. So now, like, if you don't have the wafer paper, you don't really, I mean, you know what I mean? Like, now, yeah, you can, you can leave it, but. Yeah, you can leave it or add the wafer paper. And then I'm going to get it. But the wafer paper is pretty. So let me get my little scissors. There. Oh, on the other one, you have a different, uh, different border. Yeah. You use a different bunch. I see. I just wanted to try it. So you're just gently pressing it into the surface. If you like like crafting, you know, like you like little fiddly things, this is fun. You know, if you like making your own cards and is anyone losing the feed? Uh, Kim is losing the feed. Is anyone having issues? Can you guys see us? Everybody's loving it. Very cute. It's so cute. So I did add another little bit of corn syrup because it was like resting on the other piece of wafer paper, you know, it was kind of under it. Yes, and so Sally, I think you could use sugar oil, but I, I think this is just so much easier than sugar veil. Yeah, it is. It, it really is. The sugar veil. I mean, if you have the molds, I understand. Mm. But... Check also the issues it's cutting out. So hopefully it just, we, you know, is unfortunately out of our reach, what we can do if you are cutting out. Sorry. Or it's a maybe go on YouTube. If you're watching on Facebook, go watch on YouTube. Yeah, I try to. Maybe YouTube is more stable. And again, don't stretch the icing. I'm just adding the same kind of like white line finishing on top of the wafer paper and it just kind of like ties into the front of the house. Oh yeah, Karen, that would be also very cute to the- um, Oh yes. So, yes I cute. mean, so many design possibilities. So here it's just like a little dot. I'm just doing three at a time, okay? Because it dries so quickly. And then I'm just immediately adding my little Christmas light to the freshly piped icing. And this is a, a holiday kind of pearled finish. And you see it just, there. it's miniature, but it's cute. It's a little detail. Can you zoom in a little bit now that you're doing all these cute little details? Just a little bit, a little bit. Thank you. Is that good? Yes, that's perfect. And so, yes, this is not, you know, it's, of course, it's fiddly, but it's kind of the point, you know, like if you're at that, you like that type of detail. Oh, I love it. I love it. Right? What type of tweezers are you using? For electronics. Electronics. So electronics is, uh, you know, very intricate, delicate kind of stuff. And so if you go and look on Amazon, you'll find tweezers specifically designed for electronics. Yes, yes Shona, you are correct. I do have a recipe for realizing on my blog. Anyela.com. There are several recipes actually, depending on the ingredients that you have available. I guess you could just sprinkle them on, but you're not going to get the placement, you know? All right. Oh, beautiful. It's cute cookie. Everybody's loving it. Just two more, and then I'm going to attach my little snowman that we made last. Um, oh, I stuck my finger in it here. 
that's the thing when you're working over like your wet area you have to always be thinking about what you're touching oh. damage it all right so let me just go back out a little bit you see i added my little snowman so here he is he's dry and i'm just going to grab my marker and add a little smile now let's zoom in again focus there I'm just doing a little side smile like that. Oh, yes, Jeremy, a hundred decorators will have a will have hundred different recipes for royal icing. And then I'm just adding the icing here. And then he's he's kind of like there. So I'm just securing him to the bottom like edge here. You see he's flush there, and that's why I sanded his bottom snowball down with the, with the microplane so that he would fit. You see when I stand it up, he's very nicely fit there. Which is fantastic. And I love it. You know what the, the thing is? Like I know this it's, it's not a 3D, but if you made it 3D, you could put something inside and create a piñata. Good. You just have to make the roof a little bit wider. Yes. So this is included in the first video, but I think Marlon used that tree cutter and she trimmed the... There it is. She trimmed the trunk. Yeah, that's the cutter. Okay, so for the edge here, I'm just adding... This is a super fat round. It's a number oh. 10. Judy also loves your hair. Oh, thank you. And you see, it's just an amazing, adorable snowman is so cute. So just Love a chubby it. line, you see, like that, mm -hmm. to finish it off, give it some snow. And if you wanted, you could add some snow to the top as well. But there it is. So you, and then if you like, when you wrap it, because you do have, oh, my recording stopped it was long i guess so you could tuck some stuff back there you could tuck a little you know when you wrap it you could tuck in other cookies maybe some cookies like you know little um gingerbread men or something like that like you know little little treats back there some little chocolates or whatever when you package it up oh gosh thank you everybody so there it is. So there's a little kind of cute holiday project. And it's, and it's adorable. I love it. And when they're small like this, you can do a little production. I'm not saying. Yes, I was going to say the same thing. Like a, you could have a little village. Like each member of the family can have their own. Yes. 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 And yes. It's a fun project. You know, you get an activity in when it's cold outside and. I think if you made it, like, I don't know, you'd have to adjust to fit a gift card back there or to fit, but you could certainly fit some other little treats back there. So that's it. Well, it's going to be very hard to follow this. <laughs> to follow this? There's no pressure. No pressure. No, no pressure whatsoever. Oh, I'm going to show my little Christmas tree. I'm going to go now then. Here's my little Christmas tree. I, oh, I yes. didn't have... Can you edit? Can you edit? Well, it doesn't. My base it's doesn't. Not going to, it's not going to fit you things. So I had designed it to go here. Oh, I see. I see. That makes sense. Okay. Well, you get the idea. I mean, you could. Uh, and if you guys make something like this, be sure to share it with us. And Marlin, we always enjoy seeing your work. And it. Uh, you see? It's very gratifying. So that, was, let me just show you see this is kind of what it would look like you see so cute. Isn't that cute i'll put it together yeah. and take a picture all right han let's do the dance okay let's do the dance okay. oh, oh. oh. <laughs> did i get kicked out already <laughs> All right, so today I, I don't have anything fancy like that prepared. <laughs> I, we're going to do, um, okay, let me brighten this up a little bit. 
So we're going to do, I haven't done these before. I mean, you, I'm sure you've seen these before. What am I making, guys? Tell me in the comments before I get started. I'm just looking for my marker now because I always misplace it. Can you guys guess what she's what am making? I making? Well, it's not a cupcake. It's a cupcake shape. This is a very popular cupcake shape. Now, I also, um, I have a sh cupcake shape here somewhere, but... It's a very, very standard cupcake shape. Oh, yes, Debra. <laughs> oh, no, we are not, we are not, we, we are kidding. We are not in competition. This is no way a competition. Yes, it's a Santa head. Yes. <laughs> oh, it could be a gnome as well. I wanted to do a, um, um, I wanted to do also a tree. So, oh, Hen, is that, is that your sugar cookie? Is that, is that your... This uh, is, yes, this is a sugar cookie, yes. I do like it brown now, or golden, golden brown around the edges these days. Um, before when I started, I would just be so obsessed having it pure white, but now I am not because this is caramelized and it's delicious. And if you have issues with moisture, like if you live in a humid climate, then your cookie will come out crisp, but then it kind of takes on some of the moisture, so it will go back to the little softer. Oh, it's not, it's not, we don't do this, as, this is not the competition. And I used the perforated mat here, okay? So now I'm just gonna use a marker, just mark where the cutoff is and his face. Okay. <laughs> And to make the skin tone today, I used I usually use ivory. Yes, I think brown are excellent. Little I when people tell I mean sometimes I go overboard like last week. Remember, Mark? It was a gingerbread cookie, and you could tell like it was it was a little too much. I don't have brown sugar in my recipe, but you can definitely, you know, substitute some of the regular sugar for brown sugar if that's your preference. But you have to remember brown sugar has molasses, and so molasses is um, hygroscopic, if I can remember correctly. So it does take moisture from air. So just remember that if you are using brown sugar in your cookies. Oh, is that why it's always like a boulder and uh, it dries up? Oh, that I don't know why it dries up, but brown sugar, it's basically granulated sugar with molasses. Oh. That's what, it, that's all that, that that is to it. Okay, so. <laughs> all right. So we're just going to do the face first. That's funny. You guys are really crazy. Sorry right for the entertainment. Yes. <laughs> Oh, and I forgot to say, so I used ivory and a little bit of, um, now my now my scribe disappeared. Thank you very much. Where is it? Um, um, ivory and a little bit of white. Oh, sorry, ivory and a little bit of pink. Okay. Ivory and white would be the icing, right? <laughs> I'm telling you, like when I'm tired, I don't know, guys. But uh, how how are you when you get really tired and exhausted? Do you just do you laugh? Do you cry? Do you, are you cranky or grumpy? I usually laugh. So if you, I mean, I'm. For those who don't know, Hans in Spain, and so it's a bit late for her. And she said she got up at three a.m. So it's been a long day. So she's muscling through for you guys. Yeah. So we'll it's give her fine. a no, today. I'm fine. Just yeah, I get a little tired. That's all. So now I'm gonna take my white icing I've got, and we're just going to. Oops, this this eye is a little small. Debbie got marzipan. Yes, we also. That's great. Can you tell us, Debbie, what's the percentage of the uh, the almond almond content? Oh, this scrap is too fun. Where's my other scrap? Okay. Oh, Have you guys started baking yet? You started to load up the freezer. What are you guys uh, 
What have you started concocting in your kitchens now that Thanksgiving's behind you and you can focus on uh, on Christmas? All right, so now I'm also going to do the cheeks, a little blush. Yeah, Han does like her marzipan. Yes, I do like marzipan. <laughs> yes. We are actually same height with Mar, I think. <laughs> so yeah. I think well, yeah, we are. We we are the same height. You might be even a little bit taller than me, actually. Yeah. And I'm adding the cheeks, little dots. And uh, spent most of her youth playing basketball. Oh, yeah. Good old times. Now I'm running the scribe, tip of the scribe through the dot, creating hearts. This is really useful. I don't know if you can see there are little hearts. This is really useful around um, Valentine's Day that is coming up. <laughs> it's coming up. It's going to be here before, before we know it. Now I'm going to add the bottom here. This is going to be his mouth. Hopefully it's not too long. We'll see. Uh, Angie, are you doing it right away? She's, uh, Angie's saying that the white doesn't stick to the black. It doesn't stick to the black. So it maybe your white is it what consistency is it? Because if, if your white is too thick, then like I'm doing this wet on wet. So if your white is too thick, then it's going to you're gonna have a hard time um for the icing to stick. I don't know why else would it wouldn't it stick. Now I'm gonna use some red. Well, that's exciting. And to make red, if you are planning on decorating some uh, Christmas cookies and you plan on using red, I would recommend that you get started on your red uh, before, you know, do maybe a couple days and uh, just let, get color it to the point where it's no longer pink, it's red, but leave it be for a couple days and you'll see what happens. It usually deepens in color and you don't have to use as much food coloring first of all you're saving money on food coloring second of all you're not risking over like saturation of color it can cause bleeding and drying issues and things like that so now i'm using my red i'm just gonna make the head this is a very uh, popular design simple if you don't have a lot of cutters and, um, you know, cupcake cutter, it's usually very easily found at uh, craft stores. And this shape also ships well because it's, uh, it's not a shape with a lot of long sections or thin sections, so it ships well also. Should I tell my thing that happened recently they might find it funny what is that well i made a santa cookie for like on facebook you guys are probably aware of our fast kind of videos that we post yes and so i did a, a little for oh uh, you oh yes for a christmas <laughs> of round cookies a santa snowman gingerbread man whatever and i we didn't are that route though are we <laughs> well, I mean, it's like, you know Anyway, and so I made Santa and I'm completely oblivious to whatever. And then the comments start coming in that it looked like boobs, it looked like boobs, it looked like boobs. So anyway, it gave me a good laugh, I have to say, because I really, when they said it, then I looked, I was like, oh, yes, it does totally look like that. But no, well, I'm going to cover this up really soon. <laughs> Pulling it away. So I've got one of these. Oh, no, I forgot. Okay, sorry. Little, uh, no, I think uh, you leave the the red to on the counter, and eh? you don't put that in the. Um... No, no, no. I leave it on the counter. You just want to make sure that you cover it well so it doesn't dry out, and um, it just deep the color deepens when I sing. It's color color over time deepens, and uh, you get the most out of the pigment. I like when you do your little sparkles. Uh, so June saw the boobs. 
Jeremy, they were only briefly boobs and then they were Santa. <laughs> but it's amazing what people, what, like we don't see things like that. And then it's like, oh, really? And then you look, oh, really? It does look like that. Like when you send me the picture, I was like, yes, it does. <laughs> but it was only for a second, really, right? Because yes. it was covered up. Oh, I have a sense of humor, Heather. I laughed. Yes, she Many does. People commented well, how, on else would, how else would we survive? Exactly. And, um, I mean, it's. It, it, I I really didn't do it. Like some people wrote, actually, that I did it on purpose. I I didn't have the. That's not how my brain works. <laughs> that's it. They actually, I think I reposted it. It was uh, just, they're new from this year, just round cookies. Oh, I like his beard hen. I like the little. Um, yes, you like a little. Yeah. The nice little touch. What's it called? Little. He's, he's, he's obviously being, he's, he's obviously been to a groomer. But yes. I think his face is a little long. Once you get the mustache on. I think, yeah, hopefully, yes. Space is long. This is yes. On this cookie, I made a mistake. I think. Okay. Thing is, you could pair this cookie because cupcake shape shape is so versatile. You could pair it with different designs to make it more, um, you know, Christmas. Oh, uh, yes. Here. Now I'm using can, gray. Can you visualize? A squirrel hole. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm sure it you got to open a can of worms now, my dear. Oh, it's funny. It's funny as it is. We have to laugh. Laugh is the best. Yes. So now I'm, I used gray oil, I think, to give it a bit of shading on the edges there. Now we are going to. Yes, he does kind of look like a Russian, Russian Santa, Jennifer. You're not wrong there. So now I'm going to actually use stiff icing. And this is, like I said, this is a very quick project, guys. So if you don't have a lot of time, this is a project for you. So this is, and I'm hoping this is not crusted inside. Let's see. Yes, it is. We, we do need pictures of the squirrel cookie, please. <laughs> oh, it was, and she didn't see it either. You see, she's all happy. Look at my beautiful squirrel holding the cookie. <laughs> but like I said, sometimes we really don't see. Like this is, you see, um, my my uh, my um, clogging issue. Yes. Well, not not really clogging. It's it's dried up because I oh. I had it I had it covered, but sometimes it happens. So I'm just trying to get it working again. <laughs> Somebody commented, my favorite comment was, what do poorly drawn boobs have to do with Christmas? <laughs> oh, really? Wow. <laughs> Gave me a good laugh. So now I'm just going to do a back and forth zigzag line for the... The fluff. Yes. My icing is very stiff. I think a little too stiff. Are we going to see a blowout? I don't know. I hope not. Oh, look, I'm not even, I need to, yes, this is, okay, so stiff. Okay, I'm going to remove it. Let's start over. Well, that's, that's quite a statement, and I'll take it. If this is the best part of your day, well, we've succeeded. Oh, yes. Thank you. Well, you gotta make more cookies like that, Mar. I mean, it's clearly. Yes, Heather had an, also a mishap with um, a candle spreading. You know, when sometimes the icing kind of like spreads on the cookie sheet. Well, yes. Well, I 
I also had a thing happen a few years ago. Christmas ornament <laughs> turned a female part. <laughs> remember? You don't remember? It's like, what? <laughs> I don't see it at all. But everybody else did. It, well, we have to laugh. That's all we got. I'm going to add because. <laughs> Here. Like a bed. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, guys, let's calm down. Okay, yeah, that could be my new thing. Some... Hello, Rita. Nice of you to join us. So this is core sending sugar. You can see if the granules are larger. And... <laughs> what are we going to call you? Risque Montreal Confection? <laughs> yeah. So um i'm going to switch my piping tip or so i was thinking i'm going to switch it oh here it is so i'm going to switch it to um this is a number 18 so it's a larger tip i'm just gonna switch that Oh no, we're not we, we don't need to be drinking no. Right? Not necessary. No. Yes, it is. So now we're going to make the mustache, okay? So I'm gonna start so this pink part, it's the mouth. So you want to start somewhere there. So you're covering up the line, but you don't want to cover the mouth. Okay, you want the mouth to be exposed. See, it's taking on a different turn now, right? It looks uh, a bit different now that he's got a mustache. So now what else do we need? We need, oh yes. Now I'm channeling my inner Montreal confections here. I, I bought jelly beans. These are very burst, no artificial color and flavors. And I'm not doing a commercial or anything. <laughs> Just, um, I found these and um, I feel like one of these is going to be great for the nose. What do you guys think? Perfection. And if you make Rudolph, you can use the red ones. Yes, I'm, I'm looking for the pink one. Okay, come out. So we can stick the pink one in there, on there. It's going to, oops, this way, right? So it's going to. Yeah, I was, it was the episode last night. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's got Very cute. I was going to do the flap as well. So let's see if we can get that done. Kind of looks like he has, you know, like an older gentleman. Sometimes the nose has like a little bit yes. of like, yes. it, it looks very nice. So you are an older gentleman, just so you know. Okay. So now to make the flap, if you decide to do a flap, now it's completely optional. Um, what you can do, you can... Well, I don't want to cover up my star, so maybe you can start like here and do a little flap. But then I'm covering up some of the some of the shading. It was uh, something um, home holidays or homemade holidays. Homemade holidays, I think that's it. It's um, season three, episode seven. Is it the same color as um, as the base, or did it? Did you make a new a new batch, or did it darken overnight? No, no, no. I made it today. Well, unless it darkens, but no, it's the same. Huh? Does it look different? A little bit, but oh, it's yeah. fine. Well, he's he's looks a little odd. <laughs> 
But then what you can do, you can just take your star tip. I think it should work with this one as well. Hopefully it's not too big. That's true, Heather. He is in the North Pole. He is. He is in the North Pole. Oh, here it is. So you can then um, use your star tip to make the pom-pom, or you could make the pom-poms ahead of time. And um, yeah, so you, you can put it as a transfer. I don't see. I thought I had some here, but I don't. Now, I know the red part is still wet, so you don't really want to add anything on the red, but I'm going to try and aim for the, just for the pom -pom, little bit of sparkle on there. Got your little bucket. Yes, my little bucket dollar store. You like my little bucket, don't you? Very nice bucket. <laughs> so there, so there is my little Santa. I mean, how long, I mean, these are really fast. You can have fun. Kids can uh, be um, helpful with adding the jelly beans on oh, yes. and have an activity. Yes. And you could, like I said, you could, uh, I also had in mind, and this is another design I had in mind with the, with the cupcake that I would do a, a, little, um, tree. a little tree. This would be a pot. You could do the pot red to go with, you know, you don't have to make another color and then make the whole swirl white and then do the branches with um, brown and, and green and then maybe get some ornaments or uh, some sprinkles for lights. Okay. So that's, that's from me for, for today. Look Thank at us. You. We're right on time. Yes. We're right on schedule. Thanks everybody for joining us. We hope you enjoyed that. And um, we have a few more actual lives, but we've been filming. So basically we, we won't miss a beat over the holidays. You'll be, no. if, if you- Oh yeah, sure. I, I was thinking of Charlie Brown Christmas tree. That is true. But this one wasn't, but I, I was thinking of doing that. Thank you for joining us. Yes. How many, you, how many more lives do we have? We have uh, quite a few still. The, the Charlie Brown, you know, you did a Snoopy cookie. That's what is yes. in Yes, I did. I did a Snoopy cookie. But like, no, I think Shona was referring if this was, uh, you know, like, oh, I'm not showing it. The Char Charlie Brown um, tree, you know, the tree with uh, whatever it's like. Uh, with, with one ball and I think it has like one long branch and stuff. Yes, it was a sad tree. Yes, sad tree. Well, thanks everybody for joining us, and we'll be back live on Tuesday. Yes, you'll see us back then. Back Whoop. then. Whoops, whoops. So we'll so see you Tuesday. See you later. Have a great weekend, guys. Bye. Bye.